This is the Yellow Deli, a popular restaurant you can find all around the world, but it's run by an evil white supremacy cult. And this is the story of how I actually got hired by this restaurant. I was a full-time employee living here for weeks, so I can now expose them to the entire world. If you thought it was crazy when I infiltrated Scientology, then <laughs> just wait until you find out what, what goes on inside this place. But as of right now, it seems like nobody knows. I do know about the Yellow Deli. And nice people, nothing wrong with the people. It's good, they got good sandwiches, they're not doing any harm. I don't know, it's just rumors that you hear. I don't know if that's true or not, you know? Uh, all of this is going to change because right now I'm uploading all of their secrets against their will. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I've been advised not to do this. I mean, a lot of these white supremacy groups are known for just straight up murdering anyone that goes against them. But I'm doing it anyways because somebody has to take this cult down. So I guess it's gonna be me. I wanna make it very clear that I am not suicidal. If my body happens to show up dead during the time this series gets released, just know that I did not kill myself. Yeah, this cult can try and kill me, but I have too much blackmail on them. But anyways, the story actually starts, believe it or not, with my friend Danny and I just going to the Yellow Deli restaurant to eat some lunch. Two people. The whole thing is employee built. Whoa. We all live together, we share. Wow. Anyways, we gained their trust and they invited us to their secret headquarters of where they live. Should we go? Yeah? Oh, okay. So here's the plan. Step one is gain their trust. Well, I guess we just did that. So on to the next step. Secretly film them with spy cameras. So we ordered a lot more spy cameras online. I swear I'm not recording you guys. And finally, upload everything to YouTube and hopefully they don't murder us. Let's go. So we journeyed out to where all the employees live, which these guys live in the absolute middle of nowhere. Spy glasses are going. Let's go. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's. I hope you just enjoy yourself here. Meet all my good friends. We met Emmett already. Yeah. Oh, good. At first, everyone here seemed really happy. But something was off about this place. Like, really off. Okay. Now that I have my pride, we are going to defeat all of the enemies. Hey, hey, hey. Those enemies, enemies, the enemies, 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 enemies. Wow, this restaurant has a lot of enemies. I'll just tell you guys, this restaurant hates you if you're gay, if you're black, if you're Jewish, if you're Abraham Lincoln because he freed the slaves, because they hate black people, and even chocolate. For a pretty funny reason, you'll find out later in the series. But they still have a lot more enemies. They hate you if you're Christian, any of any of these religions that you see right here. But another thing about this cult is they just abuse kids. They use kids as free slave labor. And if the kids don't follow orders perfectly, you take them into the back room and beat them. And if you watching this think that's messed up, then you are also their enemy and they want to take you down. But this restaurant isn't just going to openly say that they hate all these groups of people, especially not to someone they just met today. But once I gain their trust later in the series, they teach me everything. It gets really bad. Like, for example, the ritual I just showed you guys is actually just them practicing to do a giant group suicide. Yeah, these guys are actually planning on doing this, like, really soon. That's what the pre-enactment is. He's oh, so this whole day is a pre-enactment? Yeah. Of, the, of the, the final day. Oh! So with Yahshua. But for now, I have to gain their trust. Oh, should I? Maybe. I'm down. We want you to. Fired. Wow, that was the easiest job interview ever. As long as they don't catch our spy cameras, we should be good to go. So, um, I was, I was gonna have to tell him at some point. No, you don't. I have a, I have a lazy eye. Like, a, I have a lazy eye. Like, I'm really insecure about it. So they had these glasses that they put on me. How does that work? I'm not really sure. Just don't tell anyone. But apparently this light, it like tells you that there's something like, that's why I don't take them off because there's something, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I was winging it. Also, this is Danny Burke. Uh, he's the one that just got caught with the spy camera and I, I feel like I haven't really properly introduced him yet. So like myself, he's also a professional stuntman. Take it out. Oh! We both thought that sneaking into this cult together as a team and taking them both down together could be our next big stunt. Uh, the old stuff was getting a little boring. But anyways, back to these guys catching our spy glasses. I'm not really sure. I think you can like charge them. I don't really know how it works. Can I get a hug, man? I had butterflies in my stomach like, like when you go down a roller coaster and I was just like, I gotta save us. I gotta save us. I just literally felt like we had this whole plan to like expose them and I'm ruining it. I, I, I literally thought, oh shit, I just, I blew it for us. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying here tonight. Whoa. 
What will happen next? Will I die in this evil cult? Or am I gonna get the best insider secret camera, camera footage, spy glasses, camera footage ever and take this evil cult down? Stay tuned to find out because in the next episode, you will be one episode closer to finding out what happens. Here's a little preview. That's all you get.